The frustrating search to find a family doctor is behind a growing number of complaints from Ontario's patient ombudsman. The office's annual report released today reveals hundreds of complaints from Ontarians having trouble accessing primary care and the impact that's having not having a doctor is having on their lives. Karen Siolan is learning more about the findings. Karen, what have you uncovered? Melissa, I'm with Ontario's patient ombudsman, Craig Thompson, who revealed his annual report this morning. That report provides insight into what's working and more importantly, what's not within our health systems. So Craig, thank you so much for joining us today. Let's start with the basics. How many uh, complaints were received last year? Where are they concentrated? And I suppose what stood out to you? So we received just over 4,300 complaints last year. Uh, and that's an increase of about 33% from the year before, so quite a significant increase. Um, what stands out though in that increase in complaints is, is the complaints we're getting about what we call non-jurisdictional um, uh, issues within the healthcare system. And what stands out within that is that it's coming from primary care. So what we're hearing from um, patients, families, caregivers, is uh, about challenges they're having accessing primary care and, and having their complaints dealt with. So that's something that we haven't seen before, and that's, that gives us uh, uh, some pause. Yeah, as you say, your report noted uh, a troubling rise in uh, problems accessing primary care. Uh, why would you describe that as significant and as not notable um, as you did in your report? Well, what's significant about that is that uh, the, the way the primary care system is set up, uh, the complaint system can be a little bit uneven in terms of how people can, ac can actually make a complaint about the care they've, they've gotten in primary care. Um, a lot of the times also we hear about you know, patients that just don't have an, a primary care provider. So we know that people are, are getting their primary care through emergency departments. And so you've got two, two sectors that are both uh, facing tremendous challenges, pressures around health human resources. Um, and one sending patients to the other because they haven't got uh, access. And so you're really getting a bit of a perfect storm in the fact that, that, that patients and caregivers and their families aren't really getting the, the care that they need. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about how emergency departments and walk-in clinics are sort of filling that gap. Primary care is often a patient's uh, first experience with the health system. So what ripple-down effects does it have when an Ontarian doesn't have uh, you know, stable, reliable access to a primary care physician. So primary care is fundamental to how our system works. It's really the gateway to how you get into the system. So without a, without a, a primary care provider, you really don't have that, that uh, individual that can help to um, assess what your concerns are and to, to make those referrals into whether it's the acute care system or whatever system that you need. So without that, then you're, you're, you're left having to then for yourself a little bit by going to walk-in clinics, um, which are filling a need, but again, walk-in clinics um, are really don't have the same kind of, um, I would say, complaints processes that we would typically see within hospitals um, and, and don't have the resources to actually deal with complaints in the same way that, that we would think is appropriate. And so if there's nobody being able to take your complaint and they're coming to our office, we're, we're what is considered an office of last resort, we really encourage people to have their complaints dealt with by the organization first, because that's the best way for it to, to work. So if they're coming to us directly and we can't help them, then that leaves people really with no place to go and really wanting for, for some help. Based on the challenges that were identified in these complaints, I suppose, you know, how, how do we rectify them? What would be your message to uh, the people who can? Well, I think the role of our office is to talk about the things that we learn through complaints. So, you know, my job is to make sure that what we're hearing complaints is distilled in a way that the, that the stakeholders, which is government, but also the providers, can understand the challenges that, that uh, we're seeing. It's really their responsibility to respond to them. Um, and we give advice and guidance. We make recommendations when we do investigations as to how you might want to approach that. But the solutions lie in those organizations and it lies within the, within the government. Craig, thank you so much again for your time today. Melissa, as you heard, more than 4,000 complaints uh, logged last year, many of them highlighting what is unfortunately a very common problem. People are having trouble accessing primary care and they often have nowhere else to turn with their concerns. I'll throw it back to you. Thanks for that, Karen Seolin, digging into an annual report from Ontario's patient ombudsman. Thanks for that.